Hey guys, what's up? Nine Plagues back today with a video I did with Xenoglave. And today, while representing the Burning Fish crew, uh, we had a very aggressive follow by a Reaper, as they do. Um, nothing against that. Reaper's jobs is to reap. That's what they do. Um, but this one kind of gave us all a chance to teach the lesson of why you never anchor. Why you never anchor at all in the game. And I always get comments about, uh, you know, well, why don't you just anchor when you get close? And uh, that way you can drop off your treasure real fast and you're not suddenly going into the dock way too quick. Yeah, you can anchor and then raise it to slow down, but I personally never anchor. And today is a good reason why you shouldn't. After this crew had followed us a good two islands and uh, tried to pursue us, we decided to try and start docking at a fort very quickly. And when I say dock, I mean just in a constant movement of circling the fort, grabbing a few supplies, jumping back on and getting ready to fight. And they saw us doing that and decided they now had time to start looting a sunken ship themselves, I guess, to prepare for their side of the war. But the big mistake they made is not only did they anchor, but they left their sails down. Those are two big no-nos if you are new to the game. If you absolutely feel like you need to anchor, like you don't have good control yet of the ship, and you feel like you need to slow down when you get close, or you're afraid you're going to drift away, okay, fine, do it. But, number one, don't do it when you are close to another ship that you've been pursuing, especially if you are a reaper, okay? Number two, don't leave your sails down from far away even. That is a clear sign that you are really stuck because, number one, when you raise that anchor, you're just going to start shooting forward into whatever place that you're going. And that might be a rock, that might be an island, or that might be the sunken ship that you're in front of, which would have happened to this crew if they had even raised their anchor quick enough. But they didn't. And the fact that they left their sails down was a clear indication that they were anchored. Um, if your sails are up, they may have to guess whether or not you've just slowed down by raising sails and not know if you've actually anchored. But if you're not moving and your sails are down, there's no question, we know you are anchored. And so this gave us the perfect opportunity. We grabbed our supplies a little quicker than them, started the death spiral, and as you're gonna see in this video, as it plays out, um, they had little to no chance. And they were a three-man level two Reaper Brig, fully crewed up, double gunning everything, and uh, all we were was just a, simple little soul sloop with a two-man crew. So take a look at how this went down. I still have no angle. Sorry, sorry. All right, here we go. I'm gonna rotate this around. Um. Now look closely at the succession of shots here. The first thing we always go for, chain shot first, break those masks. If they raise the anchor, they're still stuck. They can't move. Next, firebomb on top of that. The entire top deck is lit up. If you only do firebomb first, all you're gonna have is people putting it out really fast with pails of water. On top of it, if you break the mask, then do the firebomb, you're gonna be lighting them up as they try to raise. Complete chaos is gonna ensue. They're gonna be damaged not only on the top deck, but all their characters as well, they may even die just trying to raise the mass. This is the perfect selection of shots. They're done. They got them. Okay, all right. They're definitely going to back spawn. Okay. Now, with a brig, you got three people on the crew, and there's most likely going to be a back spawn. One or two people are going to be heading back. And the first thing you want to do is make sure you're not grabbing anything that can let you be found out. If you have a Reaper's Bounty, unless you're a Reaper yourself, don't worry too much about getting those 25 doubloons unless you want to be tracked on the map. Um, on top of that, 
realize that you have unlimited spawns because your ship is still afloat, but also realize that they could at least chain shot your ship if they're still able to get on board or firebomb it. So make sure to still protect your ladders. Don't get too brave or too courageous with what you've done. Just stay steady and hold the course. On top of it, you might want to do it Xenoglave did here and he pretty much grabbed a bunch of food jumped in the water and Allowed the sharks to chew them up the second somebody's ship goes down a shipwreck is the perfect place for sharks to spawn They're gonna be swarming around there on top of it We've got a secondary event ship that's sunk next to it that creates even more sharks so he grabbed himself five coconuts jumped into the water and pretty much let the environment kill these guys off. He had to shoot one of them. I think he sliced another up. And the shark ate the two back spawns as soon as they came back. Because there were so many PvE events that happen all at once here. Make the environment work for you. You have unlimited spawns back on your boat. You're still afloat. You still have an origin point. They do not. Like one of them was bucketing and... I smacked him three times with the sword, then he ran to his friend, and then all three of them started shooting me, and I was like, alright, but your ship is sinking. Yeah. That. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like, if they end up killing you and abandoned the upkeep, then you've still won at the end of the day, because your respawn point is still floating in the water, and theirs is gone. Like, that's... I've definitely done that before, just made myself bait to make their ship sink, like, it's a pretty common play. I just loved the three sharks behind them and I'm just like <laughs> eating coconuts in the water. <laughs> that is hilarious that you just let the environment take care of them. Well... If you happen to drop by an island and find yourself a level 2 reaper's flag sitting on the table, that's our gift to you. And if the original guys who uh, we shot down find it at Daggertooth, this is Daggertooth, by the way, yes. Um, if you guys find it, well, take it as a lesson. Don't leave your sails down and anchor. It's a very, very big tell that <laughs> you're vulnerable. Also... Don't chase someone and then stop pursuing to go for a sunken ship, especially when you're Reaper. You're, you're not fooling anybody. We, we know what you're trying to do. <laughs> and there you guys have it. The result of pursuing another ship with the Reaper flag up, then trying to stock up on a bunch of cannonballs and curse balls and uh, loot while you are anchored. Um, not the greatest strategy. Um, don't be surprised if once you put that flag up, the Reaper's flag, if you're already targeted. And especially if you're following the trail of another ship, um, if they don't look for an opportunity to take you out of the game so that they don't have to worry about you or deal with you while they're trying to get their own stuff done. That's Usually the main reason we do it when we're running any other emissary and uh, as soon as we see ourselves being pursued or we see someone coming for us with that reaper flag up, the second we notice we get an opening and an attack, we go for it and I think a lot of players play this way. I just wanted to reiterate this point of not dropping the anchor by showing this and show you a little bit of PvP. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time with the Burning Fish crew.